charging stations and cosmic connections profound wellness blog originally published on july 28 2019 spoken word added today october 16th 2021 charging stations and cosmic connections Our places and souls that restore balance to our beings in unfathomable ways. What are your charging stations? How many charging stations do you currently have? How often do you make time to visit your charging stations to restore your peace and balance? When is your next scheduled visit to a charging station? What are you waiting for? How often one should visit charging stations is very personal. For my being, I prefer to experience a charging station at least weekly. Cosmic connections are relationships built between two souls lasting lifetimes. I do strongly believe in reincarnation, much like charging stations, interacting with our cosmic connections helps to recalibrate our beings to reach a state of equilibrium never felt before. On the winter solstice, Friday, December 21st, 2018, during a full moon, one of my cosmic connections re-entered the spiritual realm. She too went by the name of Maggie. In this lifetime, she held many titles dear to me, friend, mother figure, teacher, role model, Reiki master and massage therapist. I miss interacting with her physically, but spiritually I feel her presence daily. I truly understand that energy cannot be destroyed, but in fact changes forms and can be accessed anytime with an open mind and heart. She was a soul that I instantly connected with. I felt as though I had met her before, but could not put a place or time to that sensation. Our bond very strong, our energies very compatible. In the physical form, she currently lives in my heart and within the hearts of countless others, she proudly touched. When I think of her, which is often, I'm always reminded of the lyrics by uh, the amazing and talented Trevor Hall. My love is just a reminder, find your center. Maggie had an amazing way of empowering me to restore needed peace and balance within my being. If I was fearful or felt unready for a life altering change, she had a magical way of appearing to stop time and encouraged me to move in the direction best for my being. She is a source of great inspiration and enlightenment for my soul. Together we created my all-time favorite yoga pose, which is called seaweed. This pose is designed to build and maintain spinal mobility. I practice seaweed daily alone and with every client of mine. Always thinking of Maggie and my connection to her. I am lucky enough to have other cosmic connections in the physical form, but the details of these individuals will be saved for another story. Where are your cosmic connections? How many cosmic connections do you currently have? How often do you make time to visit with your cosmic connections to restore your peace and your balance? When is your next scheduled visit with a cosmic connection? What are you waiting for? special edition. At the conclusion of typing this expression, a baby bunny rabbit came to visit me. The baby bunny rested on the tops of my feet and was very receptive and thankful for the yogic massage and cuddles. It was a magical moment that lasted for around 30 minutes under a beautiful blue sky. It was very difficult to say goodbye to the baby bunny but necessary to arrive to my next yoga class in a timely manner. 
Being that this moment was uncharacteristic for a baby bunny, I wondered if it was one of my cosmic connect connections visiting in a different form. Namaste. Peace and love. And I'm Maggie Feckety, nutritionist, experienced registered yoga teacher, certified health coach, and board certified holistic health practitioner. If you'd like to learn more about my background and offerings, there's a hyperlink for you here. If this expression added value to your life, consider donating to support my cause and buying me a symbolic cup of coffee. I appreciate your generosity and your support. Bye for now. Au revoir.